Hello everybody, my name is Michael Mock. So today, Putak and Puwot work on the charity work. He have the trip go to the village pray tea and Sa'ang district and Kandal Providence to see one of the poor family that live in the middle of somewhere in the field at Sa'ang. บ่าวบ่าบ่าให้ผู้ญมมาวนี่คือดําไปนอมยอดทานการสอบรอจุนมาช่วยYou can see this road. This road is open road at Saang, and this is the flood area either. So all this, when on the monsoon season, it flood all over the place, and at the dry season, they can store it a lot of water. And poor people here, they can uh, go into fishing and catching the snails or catching the clam for their living. They can have some for their family and have some for sale. And then they make the income and to pay for everything they needed. But these families uh, only husband and wife, they didn't have any children. So his name is Roy. He is 65 years old and his wife, her name is Srena and 43 years old. They didn't have any cat, so they moved in this field, the middle of somewhere, especially when the monsoon season, they become the open lake. It flood all over the place. Like I always mentioned about it, poor people live in the flood area. So this is it's not their land, or somebody on land, but they want them to stay the, there because they ask for permission to stay there. Even they not live in there, it, nobody live in there too because they flood areas and then this really open field, nobody live there. And they make a living by go for fishing or they catching the snails or they catching the clam and the other thing else that they should do but they are really poor. The old man, his name is Roy, 65 years old. He used to get married before he got three children, all the girl, but they all growing up and they got married already, but uh, his wife passed away and he just get married with uh, the other woman. Her name is Trina, and she is 43 years old, and she didn't have any kid. And they just move in there and to make their living, like uh, I mentioned before, by fishing and so something. But now, on the dry season, it means the summer, after the harvest, all kinds of the rises, and then the water drain out and dry, and the water pond is dry. They could not find any food, and they cannot go to fishing. They cannot find any snails. They cannot find any clam for themselves, for food, just for survival, and then for sale, or earn a little money to buy something, you know, like the gas for his old motorcycle. This old motorcycle, it belonged to her brother, Srinath's brother, but after they got married later on, his two brothers passed away, and then she can have that old motorcycle. And whatever she can earn from fishing or searching the snails or 
So I think the clams, and when she got it, she sell and she can have some extra money to buy for the gift for that old motorcycle. But right now, the dry season, she couldn't find anything, so um, she had to find the other way. Of course, this is a little wood, they call it firewood. She just went to the bushes and then just cutting them and for her cooking. But right now, she just tried to find a way to cut the wood, uh, put it into the bundle. Probably she can go to the village and sell it. And Puwat and Putak asked them, how much do you sell for that? But she said she didn't know how much it depend on who buying it and keep her the price. It's not depend on her set up the price for this one. But uh, Puwat and Putak interview her. Uh, do you have any income for your living, buying the food or rice for all the food supplies? She said no. But uh, how can you survive? So uh, the villager, they know they are poor and they give some food day by day. She just live by day, but day by day, but she just trying to uh, cut this a little wood and tie it to be a bundle and sell for the villagers. And probably they, you know, they thinking like she is so poor, they are so poor, she get no way all to survive, so they help to buy the wood. And a lot of people didn't use the old style because this probably 100 to 500 years ago, but in our country, very poor people still using it. And this wood can burning, can fire to cooking, and everybody can use it for now. But uh, in the city, mostly they didn't use it much. But in the rural, they have to use it because they have no other way to earning the money for their living. And so around here, no job available. They get only is a little job and like digging the dirt, cutting the grass, cleaning the farm. And after that, they didn't have any job available. No factory, no manufacturer, no companies around. It really empty, nothing. In Cambodia, if they have a job available, those people can uh, make their living and earn good income for their life. But they have no job available and poor generation to generation and carry this uh, poverty life. And both of them, they didn't know how to read either. And then they didn't know how to talk, you know, only word by word, a little talk, but it's not a whole lot much about telling the story and stuff. But when Putak and Puvot interview them, ask them a question, they only talk a few words. <coughs> Anh mình con trai thế? Ờ, nhưng về à? Về cả đời. Nhưng chẳng? Chờ. Ồ, anh mình con là mình trai ơi thì... Ờ. Nơi tập pin nè, dây tạc. Anh mà hôm, mà hôm nữa mà hôm ấy. Mà hôm ấy bị ớt, thật nghịt, ớt thật nghịt. Bà. It's because it's basic education, they have no school, and then they couldn't read either, and they cannot learn. The only one thing that they're thinking, just go out there and finding food, and then for their living and for survive, you know, it's not for enjoy their life, just for survive. And then if they have some food left over, and they just sell like fish, like clam, like snail, like snakes, you know, uh, anything anything that they can eat and they just find it they just so important we just uh, get it some for their food uh, especially they need rice to eat every day and after they get their food and they sell it they get some money and then they they have no money to buy the rice and then to help themselves 
like we here we eating the bread but uh, over Cambodia we eating rice and then they buy some rice like a bag of rice it's a bag of rice 50 kilos is thirty dollar it's a cheaper one and then if they get it thirty dollars a lot of money they could not uh, earn any income around there it will you know the highest income that they can earn like uh, two dollars fifty cents a day so they only earn day by day no weekly pay wage or monthly pay wage because it's no job available so Putak got some donation to bring to her but uh, donation is from America his name is Heng and her wife's name is Hood. So thank you very much for your help and donate this money to help them a little bit, but it's not a whole lot, but can help them a little bit. If someone wants to donate, please leave the comment and we will start from there to helping them. And we continue to do this and protect and provide uh, he is my body. We are the teamwork. He is at Cambodia. I'm in America. I try to make this video to spread all over to the world, to every country, and to the people. And then they know it. It's Cambodian. is poor, and they need help out there. If somebody uh, want to help, please leave a comment like I mentioned about. And if you would like to support please subscribe and then click notification bell to get new video upload at my channel Mike works every day at 6 p.m. and thanks you very much for your support and thanks you for if you will like you and we'll see you guys on the next video please stay tuned bye bye now you guys have the wonderful day